Hi there, welcome to WP Matt. Here in this video, we're going to be learning about heading widget of Elements Kit plugin. Let's start with opening up a new page with Elementor Page Builder. After that, from the wizard search, search heading. And they will find the heading widget by Elements Kit. Drag and drop the widget on your page. After that, you'll find a simple demo. Then in the right side, you'll find all the controls to modify this one. The first one is the heading title. From here, you can change this title. I want to give the title name Dream and Motion. Alright, after that you have the title HTML tag. By default, it will be selected to H2, but you can change this to H1, to span, or you can also select the div or the paragraph. I want to select the H1 tag. After that, you have the subtitle options. From here, you can add a new subtitle. Just open this up, and then you'll have the box to add the subtitle. By default, you'll find time has changed. You can change this subtitle. I want to add just now after the changed word and then you have the subtitle position. By default, it will be selected to after title. That means this subtitle will be selected just below this main title. I'm going to use this subtitle before the heading. So I'm going to use the before title and then you have the subtitle tag. I want to make it H2. All right, now if you go to the title description and open this up, then you have the WYSIWYG control and there you can write anything you want. I want to duplicate the existing text here. All right, now if you go to the separator, there you have the separator style and the separator position. From this style, you'll have multiple type of style like the dotted, solid, solid with star, solid with bullet. Uh, I want to select the solid with star and there you can see the separator has changed. You can also add any custom image as your selector. Just what you have to do, click on this custom after that, you can select the image you want. But right now, I want to use solid star. All right, now if you go to the separator position, there you have the after title. That means the separator will be just below this title. But you can change this to top, before the title and the bottom. I want to keep it as it is. After that, if you go to title again, and imagine you need a different style or different type of color in the heading. On that time, Elements Kit provide you a different type of settings, which is the focus setting. What you have to do, just use a curly bracket and inside of this curly brackets, if you write anything, for example, I'm going to write hello world and there you can see it has got a bold color. So uh, for the hello world, you'll have separate controls in the style tab. Uh, let me show you what it is. So if you go to the style tab now, the first control that you'll find, which is the alignment, it will be selected to left, but you can make it to center and the right. But let, let's make it center. And if you go to the title, there you have the control to work with the title color, text shadow, margin, and the typography. Let's select the title color red. And there you can see this title color is only affecting this dream and motion text, but the hello world text is still there. So uh, I, I don't want to use any text shadow, but I want to use a margin here. So let's make the margin zero from all sides and make margin bottom 10 pixel. Uh, let's make it 30 pixel. After that, if you go to typography from here, you can select the font family. I want to use the font family pop-ins and the font size I want to use is 64 pixel and the font width I want to use bold and let's make the letter spacing minus 1.92. All right, next you'll find the focus title. This focus title is this hello world text. So if you open this up, there you'll find the focus title color. Let's make it blue. After that, you have the focus title typography, text decoration, text shadow, and the padding. Let's keep the settings as it is because we have already learned about the text decoration and the typography. So uh, another thing that I want to talk about right now is the background colors. Uh, let's open it. After that, background type, let's make it red. And then you have the padding. Let's make the padding 10 pixels from the left side and 10 pixels from the right side. And I guess this color, if I make it white, it will be better. Uh, if you want to use any image as a fill color of this Hello World text, on that time you have to disable this background color. Enable the text fill settings. After that, choose an image. And from here, you can select the image from your computer or your existing library. And there you can see this image is working as a fill color of this Hello World text. You can work here with the position and attachment. I want to use a position center center. And the size I want to use is cover. And then if you go to the subtitle, there you can work with the subtitle color, typography at the margin. Let's change the color to black. And I don't want to use any margin here. And for the subtitle, you can also use this text field. As we have already learned about it, so we are not going to do this for twice. 
Now if you go to title description, there you can work with the description color, typography and the margin. I want to use the margin of 20 pixel and the typography I want to use is Rubik and the font size I want to use is 20 pixel. Now if you go to the separator, there you can work with the separator width, height and the margin. And the last one is the separator color. From here I will change the separator color to red and let's use the margin. I want to use the margin bottom 10 pixel and then you have the width and the height. Let's increase the width. All right, now what if you need to work with it in a responsive devices? As an example, let's change the font size in mobile device. If you click on this icon, you will have the tablet device and the mobile device. So tablet device and the mobile device settings are completely same. Just I want to show you how it works. So I'm using the mobile device. From here, I want to change this font size. So I'm going to go and open up this title. Then I'll click the typography. And from there, I'll change the font size to 24 pixel. And the title description, I want to make the font size only 14 pixel. All right, now if you go to the desktop device, they will find the font size of the title and the font size of the body is the same as we have seen before. So this is how you can work with the responsive devices of this heading widget. After you've done all of your work, don't forget to update it. Thank you for watching this video.